Oh jeez. Um, I'm not answering that. Hi guys. Um, I'm just gonna let it ring because I'm scared it's my doctor. Um, sorry, the answering machine will pick up soon. Yes, we have still an answering machine, not voicemail. Oh, huh. no, it's a message from my mom. Thank goodness. Whew. Anyway, um, sorry I look like crap. I've been up for three hours, but and it's only 8.30, but I haven't done anything except take the dog for a quick walk and drink tea and catch up on friggin' everything that's been going on in the past two weeks on YouTube, Facebook, and Blogger, and everything. Um, and then I wrote this really long blog post, but about just not even, I don't know, just about stuff. And, um, so I left the hospital AMA last night after a stupid comment by the housekeeper. There was like, um, my nurse and um, one of the one of the other nurses who's really sweet and um, this mouthy old housekeeper who always has something retarded to say um, were standing around the nurse's station and I was making some tea in the kitchen which is right by there and um, oh, this sweatshirt is too tight around my neck anyway um, <clears throat> and I heard one of the nurses talking about who was being discharged the next day and they're like and she's like oh there's four potentials and then she's like 212 and 213 and maybe 202 bed 3 and I was in 203 bed 2 and so I just walked over jokingly and I was like and how about 203 bed 2 and she's like she looks at it she's like you want to put yourself on the list and I'm like yes because <clears throat> my doctor wouldn't give me a definite day um he just kept saying, oh, a day or two more, or whatever. Um, and I didn't know why, because I've been stable since, like, Friday. Minus, like, one crash in my BP, and... Um, oh, my computer just stalled with a really ugly face. Anyway, but that's sort of a late refeeding happening yesterday. Um, all my lights were still in range, but, like, the mag and phosphate and um, potassium had dropped significantly since introducing food and not just the tube feed formula over the weekend um but whatever it's not like i'm at risk of refeeding when i'm at home so um i'm not too concerned about my physical health um <clears throat> i gained a lot of weight um and yeah, so um, going back to that, um, the housekeeper was like, well, or one of the nurses was like, well, what's the plan for you anyway? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, my doctor just, you know, keeps telling me another day or two and just wants to get my weight up, <coughs> excuse me, more so that I stay away from here long enough or for longer. And um, then the housekeeper's like, well, what, how much does he want you to weigh before you go? I'm like, I don't know, he won't give me a number because he doesn't go by numbers. He goes by like symptoms and how well I'm doing and I think this time he was really trying to push my weight because I like to get me above where I go crazy. Um, which he did, but just barely. <laughs> and it freaks me out and I don't feel safe here at all. Um, but um, the housekeeper was like, oh well, you look like you've gained weight. And, um, she's like, yeah, um, yeah, you've definitely gained weight. And I was just like, thanks. And I just started my nighttime top up, which was three cans of what you might know as resource two or two cal. Um, <clears throat> so basically my daily meal plan, again, through the tube. Um, and I left. I just walked away and I was going for a smoke and I just freaked and I was going through the physical motions of crying but no tears. It was really, really bizarre. Um, like I felt completely like I was bawling and, but I didn't 
actually there was no moisture so it was really bizarre anyway i got back inside and i packed my stuff up and i said i'm sorry i know it's shift change but i'm freaking out of here so i signed myself out um against medical advice um which i haven't actually done before um and got my dad to pick me up and he was fairly pissed um in fact neither of my parents are really talking to me right now um they think my doctor is basically god so you know if he wanted me in the hospital or wanted to keep me in the hospital i should have stayed in the hospital and um anybody who um, who reads my blog will probably get a lot of this twice but like as um, as upsetting as it was to hear from that stupid effing housekeeper that I looked like I gained weight like I know I have like hello I have, I've been on the scale I know I've gained weight like I'm I know where it is and like I know I have a refeeding belly and I know these things and I just hate it when people are like oh you can't tell at all I mean look obviously you can tell my freaking face is filled out from my last video before I left like you can tell and I just hate how people lie about it and think that like that like I don't know what the right thing to say would be but to be like no you don't look like you've gained weight um you can't tell at all you could still use like so many more pounds on you and <gasps> oh, excuse me it's nap time hospital time oh actually no I think I'd be doing my post mail right now yeah um anyway uh yeah, and so it was sort of nice to have the honesty of that stupid housekeeper who doesn't know anything. Um, and, but it was also really, really hard to hear. And I felt like a complete failure. And I was actually getting to a point where I was considering like what I could do as an outpatient, like if I could start the nighttime tube feeds again or if I could, you know, like actually participate in the meal support honestly and like maybe have the enter provided by the hospital so that I can't screw around with it and like make an effort to stay out of the hospital and stay stable and right now I'm just like Psh, whatever, screw that, like I don't care, I just I just want the weight off. I want to be back to my comfortable spot and um, I was just barely there when I got admitted and I know I wasn't doing well physically but this time I'm just like it's got to come off and I have follow-up appointments with St. Paul's next week and a week yesterday I'll be at the medical clinic and Tuesdays are complex care days and there's always like the freaking super emaciated people there just trigger me um and yeah um and I'll have to get weighed and I'll weigh more than I did last time and that's just not how medical clinic goes for me like when I'm not doing well I weigh less every time I go I don't weigh more and I mean I know the doctor's gonna know about my medical admissions and whatever and probably expect my weight to be higher but just oh, frig like I just I can't take it and I can't do blind weights like I can't I used to be able to and then as soon as I started looking I, there's no going back and you never know what scale you're gonna get weight on there because all of the physicians use different rooms and like sometimes you know you go use the scale in one room and then go and have your like actual appointment in another room and it's just so dumb and you never know if the scales are calibrated properly and it just freaks me out a little bit anyway so um i'm home and hopefully i'll have more time with my parents away my dad's fishing my mom went out this morning um to do some updates and i'm about to take my doggy for a walk and i will talk to you Sometimes you. Yeah. Okay.